Megan, keep that dog under control. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> yep, so it's brave man's game, there'll be trouble. Well, it's a bright and beautiful morning here in Ditchet, and I've come back to see the Spring Festival runners. I'm really looking forward to seeing who we've got potentially in action over the next few weeks at various different festivals. The horses have started to pull out, but first, we better find the boss. Dad, you ready? Well, I'm amazed you're up this time of day. Oh, hey. Cheeky bugger, you are. Come on. Let's go. Come on in, boys. Hey. So lots of these have run recently, not all of them at Cheltenham. Yeah, but well, all these eight here headed up by Brave Man's Game in front, all, all really have run at Cheltenham, have run recently, and could have options. But that extra week between Cheltenham and Aintree is a big plus for us because we could just able to bring them back into a normal program. And so all these guys are back in the normal full routine now and they're all gonna have a school this morning, um, a little jump which will put them right for next week. But I'm, I'm very happy with the way they've all come out of those races. Right then, let's go school him. Some squad walking yeah, towards you there. Yeah, brave man's game, hit man, pick Dory, complete unknown, solo and Il Rodito. Yeah, that's some proper horses. So obviously brave man's game having his first school since yeah. he ran at Cheltenham. He wasn't a winner, but you must have been so proud of his effort in the gold cart. Oh yeah, I mean, fantastic run. You couldn't want for any more, could you? You know, it was, uh, just no excuses. We just got beat by a better horse on the day. He was going to be very hard to beat. So absolutely thrilled with him. Fantastic ever. And you know, it's really good to see him in such good order. Look at that beautiful. Okay, <laughs> Harry. I Don't mean, he, kick. Harry's yeah. trying to keep him back. <laughs> well, he's just got so much scope. Uh, awesome, isn't he, Harry? He, he likes well, that I've got to say, I have got absolutely no doubt whatsoever he is fine to run wherever we want to go. 100% as you say. Look at that. Look at him. Even Rolo wanted to come and watch him scream. Yeah, Rolo, how does he keep escaping? Ready? Nelson, go! <laughs> <laughs> You're bloody mad! He jumps better than most horses. <laughs> We've got a couple of horses in here, Solo yeah. and Hitman, who admittedly I underestimate both of these. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Hitman, he's actually, he's actually coming to life this week, that horse. He ran very, very well in the Ryanair, so please with him. And he always runs good races. Solo won the Pendle Novice Chase the other day, mm. made all in one very, very nicely. He's going to have an entry in two Novice Chases at entry, two and a half and two. I wouldn't be afraid to drop him back in two on okay. a track where you've got to jump. And You know, Solo's a very smart horse when it's right, and you just got to get them in the right race on the right day, and they'll perform well. I've got lots to enter in all races, okay. juggle them all around, and we'll pick out what we think is right. But just looking at them schooling this morning, the way they look, I could not be more pleased with them. OK, beautiful, beautiful. That'll do. You haven't actually got a national runner this year. How come? Just didn't have a horse that was suitable for the race. It was pointless just trying to invent one. You need a very high-class horse with lots of staying power there. And we've got a whole heap of young horses, you know, coming through. So in the future, we will have an other horses another day. But you've got to have the right horse for the race. And, you know, we ran plenty. But really, over the years, the only the best horse we ever ran in the National won the race with Neptune Colonge. So I want to wait till we got the right horse to have a real go again. So Olive obviously had an awesome ride at Cheltenham on Shantou Flyer. We've got Magic Saint running in the Fox Hunters at Aintree over the big fences. Are you excited, nervous, bit of both? Yeah, very excited. I think she is too. He, he's a lovely horse to be riding. He, he won very well for her at Wing Canton the other day. But I always thought he'd be a great horse for the Fox Hunters. Be a fantastic ride and she'll mm. give him a great ride. So, you know, she's looking forward to it and I could see him running really, really well. We've got two novice hurdle grade one winners in here now, which yeah. is great that we've got those top novices again. Hermes Allen, who slightly disappointed at Cheltenham, but stay away Faye, who was a Cheltenham Festival yeah. winner for you again this year. I mean, you must have been ecstatic to get that one on the board. Yeah, it was good. You know, we did quietly fancy him. He just kept on improving. But to have two lovely grade one winners here that are going to make lovely chases in a year's time is, is good. And, you know, Faye ran his race and went well. Didn't quite work out for Hermes Allen, but he'll put that behind him. And it's just one of those races, it just didn't work out tactically in one way or another. But look at his jumping. 
Oh, gee. See that? He's a proper chaser for the future, isn't he? They both are. Look at his trouble. Ah, Winston's arrived this morning. First time we've seen you, Winston. Where you been? Go on in, out, out. Look, at, look how obedient those two are. Out, now straight out. In, now back in. Your dog, where is he? Lauren's looking after mine. Good job, someone is. Another grade one winner, stage star. For him to win at Chantland was fantastic. He won there well on trials day, won a child hurdle, just shows how good he was. He'll go to Aintree next week for either two and a half or three. We'll make a plan which race. I suspect we'll run over two and a half, but he's been an amazing horse this year. And I'd like to think next season he'll end up turning into a Ryanair horse. You know, we'll get three miles too. Whoa, out of the way, let's put the ditch in. So down at the round gallop again for third lot, we've got a talented bunch of horses once more. A couple of grade one winners amongst them. In front though is Outlaw Peter. He's a horse that's continued to improve throughout the season. Oh, he keeps on winning, yeah, he's done very well and he's going to be a lovely chaser next season. He could go to Aintree and run in the three mile handicap hurdle on the Saturday, that's the plan at the moment. Little Rabot will run in the grade one, uh, novice over two. Um, and Mon Morale, who's been chasing, but we're going to keep his novice to next season. Um, he's going to run in the three mile hurdle. And Lorraine's on Sonagino, who won well at Huntington recently, goes for the two and a half mile handicap hurdle. So all horses are lined up to run next week. Rolo, come on! More and more Irish oh, coming over, not only for the big festivals, but throughout the season as well. Would you be more inclined to take some more over to Ireland like you used to what, to Down Royal what, or? Why do I need to go over there just because they come over here? We've yeah. got lots of good races here to concentrate on. We've got the right horse here. We love going to Down Royal. Different times we'll go, but you know, we've got such a good programme here. It's not about a competition between the UK and Ireland, it's about us running a business and winning many races we can with the horses we've got and that's what we're trying to achieve to do. So we've got Napa Zillia, Meg and Son and Gino. Son and Gino won at Huntingdon the last day, good race. He's won three times this season. He's going to run in the two and a half mile handicap hurl. Aintree will suit him. Nappers Hill will probably go to Sandown, but I will just monitor the Constitution Hill race. Still. It's good prize money for second and third, you know. So you're coming into, I mean, unless there was a total disaster, I think you're what number now? 14th Trainers Championship. Yeah. Incredible. I mean, that is an amazing achievement. It looks like it's sort of home and hose now, doesn't yeah. it? You know, we're not going to stand still the next three weeks. So, yeah. you know, it's a lovely lead to have. And do you know what, Meg? We're actually only 400,000 behind at this stage, our highest total of prize money ever. When we come back to when we had all these amazing horses. So, we've had a great season. You know, hopefully 14th Trainers Championship. That's one behind Martin. We're getting close to that magical figure of 4,000 jump winners, GB jump winners, no one's ever done before. It just reflects so well on the team and everyone has invested us. So yeah, it's really exciting to go into Sandown without the pressure that we have had in some years. For you, it's continuously every year, there's new aims, there's new targets. You're not just laying back and happy with what's happened. No. You constantly want more. Never look back, always look forward, sort of my motto really. And, yeah, I'm really excited about next season. Some of the horses you've seen schooling this morning and the youngsters coming through and they're going to buy some more bumper horses. Yeah, it's exciting and I love it. You know, I just mm. I love it as much now as, if not more than ever, funny enough, and a bit more relaxed about it now and yeah. I can cope with the pressure a lot easier, which makes a big difference. So, that must be experience, though. Yeah, experience. And then, you know, the experience that Clifford and I have got, you know, that we've gained up over the last few years is, is, is fantastic. Well, thanks for showing us around. Well, I hope you enjoyed your morning. Hopefully a bit of luck at those spring festivals to finish the year off well, really. Yeah, you've seen all the horses around at Cheltenham will come out of the race as well. They seem in good shape. All better behaved than your dog anyway. That's one thing can be said. Um, I think I should leave him here for a week and you can train him up as well. He'd soon get educated. <laughs>